You should go first. I am. <laughs> I will forever be indebted to the Pennsylvania State University. Yes, financially, but more importantly, <laughs> for bringing together two hearts that simply refuse to stay away from each other. Aw. Aw. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. So we met, it was my senior year of Penn State and it was his senior year. Super, super senior, senior year. my fifth year. It's a Penn, Penn State because he had a little too much fun. We grew up 2.2 miles apart, but our invisible string didn't tie us together until a late summer day in Happy Valley. Long story short, so I had a friend she ended up getting paired with Kate and a couple other girls. And then he was just like always at my house because he was friends with my roommate. I didn't know that the 6'5 and confident man who loved Kid Rock and stole my ox cord. Crowd loved it, she hated it. Would turn out to be the love of my life. <laughs> Rod, you are the milk to my cookie and the calm to my storm. Your ability to make me laugh and find humor in even the darkest times is a gift that I will always treasure. You inspire me daily with your passion for your work and your wholesome intentions you've set for our future family. <laughs> you are a loyal partner, friend, son, brother, and Philadelphia sports fan. <laughs> Your desire to learn, grow, and evolve together gives me an overwhelming sense of comfort and security. With you, I feel safe, peaceful, loved, and so certain that I have chosen the absolute best life partner. <laughs> Catherine Ivy, my best friend, my love, my little sidekick. It's funny how certain memories work. I can remember the exact moment I decided I would ask you to be my girlfriend. You sent me a cute little video of you running around in your mom's backyard with Pooch, it's her dog, uh, over Thanksgiving break. It was just the cutest thing I ever saw in my life. And to be clear, we're talking about the dog. Uh, <laughs> Our relationship certainly wasn't love at first sight. It was actually more despised than lust. Uh, Kate couldn't handle the fact I played better party music than she did <laughs> that got the place stomping. But like lots of things in life, some things just need more time. So, uh, the question is the proposal. How did I go about it? It's actually right here. Uh, in this, this very spot. spot. Yeah, it was right here. I set up this room like our first Valentine's date that we had at Penn State. And at the time, what I did was I did a digital fireplace on the TV for like a um, The TV Yule Log. Yeah, yeah. And there was like wine and a candle and like the wine glasses. And when I was 22 years old, it was the most romantic yeah. thing I had ever seen in my life and he recreated it. Yep. I don't remember what he said. I screamed a lot. 
like a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. high pitched screaming. I was so thankful we weren't in public. Cookie, oh, look at you, honey. Oh. Look at you, you look really nice. Thank you. Oh, Cookie, how cute it says. So you call me Cookie. So why do I call you Cookie? Anytime there was remotely a lull in conversation, he would say, cookies and cream. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I love you. <laughs> you look really nice. I like it, yeah. In a pocket. Oh, you love a pocket. Oh, nice. Cookie, you look beautiful. Oh, honey, I love you. I can kiss her, right? You kept randomly saying cookies and cream, and then all of a sudden it shortened to cookie. Sometimes my mom even calls me cookie now. Like, it's caught on. People, She's cookie. I'm cookie, and people love it. Cookie. So. You having fun? Yeah, are you? What are we doing now? I don't know. Do we leave? I don't know. We they have the keys. Us, they told us to have a moment. Oh, okay. You want to go for a putt? Okay. <laughs> do you want to run away together forever? We have a car to do it. Kate and Rod, before we begin, I'd like the two of you to take one moment. Look out at everyone that is gathered here today with us. These people will never be in the same place at the same time for the same reason again. Take a mental picture of this moment and feel the love you are currently surrounded by. Kate and Rod want to thank each and every one of you here today for your presence. They ask for your continued love your encouragement, and your lifelong support for their marriage. Because of you, I have learned that German cars are superior to all automobiles. <laughs> and because of you, I have learned what uncomplicated, unwavering, and unbreakable love is. Being the recipient of your love is my life's greatest privilege. You taught me to love and care for someone other than myself. You have taught me to embrace my feelings as opposed to hiding from them. You've inspired me to be a better man and you challenge me when I want to take a back seat. I promise to love you not only on the good days, but also the bad. I promise to give you confidence when you're not feeling your best and support you when you need it the most. I promise to one day make a run at becoming the Glen Burn Township <laughs> Supervisor. <laughs> That's where we live, for those who have no idea what that means. <laughs> Today, I choose you, my very best friend, to be my husband. I vow to be your devoted, supportive, communicative, respectful, and fun wife. I promise to stand by your side through whatever comes our way. Together, I am ready to face life's toughest challenges and celebrate life's greatest wins. I promise to let you go to sleep early on weekends like you're double your age, even when I want to stay up and get after it. I promise to continue to evolve with age and be the best husband, friend, lover, and by the grace of God, father you'll ever meet. I promise to raise our children in a home where the Eagles take precedence over everything every Sunday from September through January. I promise to continue pointing things out that are right in front of you when you ask me where they are. <laughs> and I promise that after today, I will never make you miss another Penn State Whiteout game. <laughs> Ka 
Catherine Ivey, you are the love of my life. No matter what the future may bring us, we will always have each other, and it's all we ever needed anyway. It's amazing how someone can walk into your life one day and suddenly you can't remember how you ever lived without them. Roderick John Geiger, you are everything I hoped for and nothing I expected. I am so excited to finally become your wife and I cannot wait to spend a lifetime loving you. That's it. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> All right, good evening, everyone. I am. Uh, don't make me count to three. One. I'm Ashley. Um, I'm honored to be a person of honor here this evening. So I think the best way to kind of navigate my 29 year long relationship with Catherine is to take a little trip down nickname memory lane. Be she little, but fierce and feisty. She adopted the nickname Kitty Cat Kate. Um, that stuck for a while. For a long time, she's been princess to my mom, and she is Friday to my dad. So as a result of my love of rap music, I was dubbed Biggie. Yeah. But eventually, Kate became the mini to my Biggie. Finally, Big Rod enters the building like the Kool-Aid man, louder and larger than life with probably her sweetest nickname of all, Cookie. October 22nd, 2022. Today. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I first formally met Roddy when I was in early high school when both of us were sitting out of gym class because we didn't bring our gym clothes. You might also know me as the guy who Roddy screams Rick at. <laughs> Roddy and I have ever since been the goons of our friend group and have always stuck out in a crowd. Roddy always has been a dependable resource for many things. If you need help eating an entire jar of queso dip, Roddy's always there. If you need a heartfelt belly laugh, Roddy can always make you laugh on the rainiest of days. While cheese dipping laughs are great, Roddy also provides a genuine friendship that he shows every time he sees you, asking about your family and giving you a warm embrace when he sees you. And it's truly an honor to be your best man. It has been a pleasure to watch my little sister and Rod evolve over the last seven years. They balance each other, and not just in stature. They're a thoughtful, festive, and always down for an adventure. Kate and Rod have a natural energy. It's kind of hard to describe, but you can feel it in their presence, and I think we can all agree we can feel it here tonight. Truly an honor to be a part of your wedding as lifelong friends and just being a part of your life in any way possible has always been great. I couldn't think of a better match for both of you and I wish you a thousand years of health, happiness, and prosperity. Raise a glass and toast with me now. Here's to Minnie and Big Rod. Wishing you Johns the best in love and life today and always. Go birds, go Phillies, and go Roddy and Kate.
because you, Catherine, and you, Roderick, have consented together in this sacred commitment of love, and you have declared the same before the company of your loving family and friends. By the powers vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Rod, you may kiss your bride. Woo! <laughs> oh! Congratulations. Right now.